All right, what is up guys? Coach Joe, back with the training vlogs. Uh, changed my goals completely right now. I'm doing hypertrophy, I'm trying to get as shredded as humanly possible. Uh, so I started off at around 270 pounds, about 262 right now. And we're just gonna do like a mock bodybuilding prep. So you guys can follow me along, uh, you know, while I'm doing this. But I had a lot of you guys submit questions on my Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram, what the heck are you doing, all right? Zat strength on Instagram. So throughout the training session, hey, I'm gonna be answering your questions, telling you guys what I'm up to, and uh, showing the training footage, so let's go. All right, so first question for the Q&A is, what are my thoughts on booze and training, and do I drink? So definitely not against alcohol uh, in moderation. So for me, probably have like maybe a beer or two on the weekend. Now, as I get closer to certain goals, I tend to cut that stuff out, and also when I drink, I try to drink things that are gonna be lower in calories, and I try not to drink to the point where I'm gonna be hungover or it's gonna affect my performance. So you gotta have that fine line uh, with what are your goals, right? You're trying to make your social life fit in accordingly. Uh, but for me, I'm not a big time drinker or a big time partier just because my goals uh, have to, you know, keep me straight for that. And also I don't like when I can't perform my best. All right, so what you're seeing uh, training wise, week two of my first hypertrophy mesocycle and we have a bench press with a pause on the chest. We're looking for five to 10 reps uh, with about two reps left in the tank. And I'm trying to beat uh, last week in terms of reps at the same weight, just to give that progressive overload. As each week goes, the reps in the tank uh, will go down and the sets will increase. So just trying to get some bigger gains. Uh, that's the first thing on tap. So another question we have here uh, is how much cardio am I doing currently? Honestly, not that much. So if you count BJJ as cardio, probably two times per week. I do like walking. I try to walk for about 20 to 30 minutes every day. And what I'm tracking is steps. So I'm trying to get an average of over 10,000 steps uh, per day across the week. And as I progress further in my cut, I'll just increase my daily step count. Uh, mostly because I like using walking and steps uh, just because it has minimal effect on diminishing any muscle or gains that I currently have. Uh, so that's my route in terms of cardio. Cable chest flies. Chest is an area that I do struggle with uh, in terms of physique. So I'm really trying to hit this program heavy with upper body and chest exercises. So we're gonna hit three sets here, 15 to 20 reps. Uh, 15 seems to be a good spot for me. So I will stay there for all three sets and then move on to some back work. All right, so another question on the Instagram was my favorite trap exercises. To be honest with you, I just love shrugs. If you're trying to get trap hypertrophy, if you want a strength perspective, farmers are great. For some reason, you know, I don't know anatomically if this really makes sense, but a lot of times with your shoulders, okay, I always do get uh, just a byproduct pump of the traps. I like doing bent over lateral raises as well. So check those out. All right, I got a question here. It says, keys to building athletic muscle. First lesson on this, there's only one type of muscle, and that's muscle, okay? If what you mean by that is how to look more athletic or feel more athletic, then your training program should be structured around whatever you define as athletic, okay? So maybe that's more uh, ranges of motion with exercises and planes of motion. Uh, if it's simply to look more chiseled and cut, Okay, then you want to make sure you're eating a proper way, which is probably gonna be high protein and some sort of caloric deficit to help lose fat and gain or maintain as much muscle as possible. So that's my answer for that question. All right, another question. Best thing someone can do to increase overall posterior chain strength? My answer is going to be posterior chain exercises. I'm a huge fan of big compound movements. So doing things like deadlifts or deadlift variations, uh, and then any accessories that are gonna be using the back, uh, which is typically gonna be most of your uh, main compound lifts and things like rows, uh, carries, you know, and then maybe some hypertrophy for some of the smaller muscle groups using like reverse hyper or hamstring curls, uh, back extensions, etc. My next exercise for hamstrings for me. So if it comes to hypertrophy, I love using the lying hamstring curl machine. I've been using that for months, ever since I got it. And my hamstrings this year have put on like two inches just from doing isolation exercises, such as the lying hamstring curl. Now, if we wanna talk about barbell movements, 
myself. Love me some RDLs or some stiff leg deadlifts. Hit those hamstrings. So throw those in and see if it works for you. All right, everybody's asking this question all the time, so I'm gonna address it in this video. Am I natty? Am I natty? Long story short, no, 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 no. But there's gonna be two things I'm gonna talk about. First one is I'm probably taking a lot less than whatever you think I'm taking, or I'm not taking probably whatever you think I'm taking. So I'll put it that way. And then two, I choose not to talk about it uh, just because it's my own personal business. But that should be enough of an answer for you guys. So no, I'm not natty anymore. Okay, favorite cheat meal. Ooh, what a good one. Honestly, I've been really digging tacos lately. I love tacos, so I'll throw down a bunch of delicious tacos and can't ever go wrong with a juicy burger or some good steak. Favorite band or song? That's always tough for me. It all depends on the mood I'm in, what kind of music I'm listening to. So if we want something on the EDM side, I love Kazo, anything from Kazo, he's my man. And I've been listening to a lot more of Mice and Men if you're looking for some more uh, metalcore music. Do you like the smell of coffee or the taste better? Man, they are both amazing, but obviously I think the taste is gonna outweigh the smell because I'm actually consuming it and it's going through my, my body and my veins and giving me life. All right, last question. What is your recovery slash sleep routine? So I try to get about eight hours in every single night. And when it comes to my sleep environment, I like to keep the room cool. I keep all the lights off. I try to get off my cell phone and stay away from blue light. Sometimes I calm myself down by just reading before I go to bed or listening to some meditation on the Headspace app. Uh, and then just try to get a good night's sleep, you know, throughout the evening. I try not to drink a lot of fluid so I'm not up and interrupting my sleep. And that is pretty much my sleep routine. In terms of recovery, I just try to train properly with good programming that's auto-regulated and then on top of that just eating to uh, focus on my goals and boost my performance as best as possible. All right guys so hopefully you enjoyed that video answering some of your questions. Uh, if you're not following me on Instagram you definitely should because I put those Q&A's up often and then I use those questions for videos such as this. So I'll take you through some of my training days. There's a lot more content coming out as I'm trying to be very consistent with the uploads and if you also aren't a member of The Iron Lions Facebook group. So just type in the Iron Lions on Facebook and we'll accept you. It's a great community for anybody who wants to learn more, get critiques, articles, etc., and just a kind of a hub for anybody who's looking to progress in their strength training journey. Join that. Um, I'm also an HD sponsored athlete. So hdmuscle.com, use code ZATSTRENGTH. I love their supplements and their products. I just love supplements in general. So if you want the highest quality stuff on the market, go check them out. Uh, I'll put a link down below as well. But until then guys, stay a lean mean strength machine and I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace.